Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a boolean cut as well as um, creating something uh, pretty much identical but with proper topology and you'll see what I mean here momentarily. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a cube. I'll just scale it up, I don't know, 5 by 5 by 5, that's fine. And then I'm going to create a sphere, scale it up and just bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to bring it up to just about halfway and try to meet uh, the uh, model the best I can on that middle edge that runs directly around the middle of it, right here, um, as best as I can. It doesn't have to be perfect um, at all, but I'd like to try to kind of give it a little bit consistency since um, it does have to do some mathematical equations in here when we cut this shape out of the cube. So I'm going to select the cube first and shift select the sphere and under my modeling tab I'm going to go to edit mesh or no mesh excuse me booleans and difference now from here I've got this shape and one thing I would uh, you'll notice is that there is as I've mentioned before you need to have quads and or triangles so what happens when I tap three on my keyboard and enter smooth mode if I were gonna subdivide it this really strange thing happens to this model and that's not a good thing so in order to uh, fix this the the real way to fix this would be to do something with your multi cut tool and then come in here and then start cutting all of these and matching them up into a point here on the model and you would continue doing this all the way through and it would be painstakingly long it would take forever to do right and in order to get that proper topology but however if we create a cube and I'll make it five by five by five and now I delete the top face right and I create a uh, poly sphere and I'll just bring this over something like so I, it doesn't need to be perfect and I'll bring this up and what I'll do from this point is um, I can go ahead and I'm actually going to change this one to 8 just so I don't have as much topology to work with and now I'm going to hold right click and delete the top half of the faces now from this point I also want to flip my normals so if you'll notice it's black that means you cannot see uh, the normals aren't displaying that way they're displaying you know the other way so I can see what it looks like on this side which is a really important thing to know but if I select on my mesh here and I go to mesh tools or no mesh display and reverse it's gonna flip the normals show it's so it's showing the proper way and one more thing I want to do uh, really quickly is a little refresher on the multi cut tool I could have added this subdivision information uh, in the attribute editor before I had started but I felt like uh, refreshing you on this tool could be really helpful so one of the things you can do is hold control and that'll create an entire clean edge loop for you also if you hold shift you'll notice it sort of snaps and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snap it best I can directly in the middle yep and I'm gonna do that one more time over here now with that being said I can take this sphere that I created I deleted the top half so I know that the uh, pivot point is directly at the top center two things I can do I'll show you really quickly I'll turn shading and wireframe on shaded on and I can go ahead and snap this directly to the center now I know I'm perfectly centered with this object and then I can hold V and just snap it up here and now I know it's uh, perfectly uh, lined up with the top edge of this cube now finally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold right click and go to edge 
and I'm going to double click this edge and I'm going to extrude it. Now I'm going to tap R on my keyboard to extrude and I'm going to scale out and I'm going to go to approximately here. Now if I go to my vertex mode I'm going to hold V and just snap these into their corresponding places. And you'll see that this is actually a lot faster doing it this way. Now, one of the, then then to do it this way where you have to constantly cut. Sure, it has a nice cleaner circle, but we would have to in order for this to be really usable for something, we'd have to correct all the topology using that multi-cut tool. So, I'm going to select both of these objects now and combine them right here. And then I'm going to hold uh, right click and go to vertex and highlight all of these and then hold shift right click and go to merge vertices and merge vertices. I'm going to hit the settings box and just double check my uh, threshold. I'm actually going to add a zero in front of it because I feel like it's a little close and I'm going to hit apply and then close. And now I'm going to tap, select my object and tap three on my keyboard just to ensure that it did merge. So you'll notice that it did merge here, which is great. Let me go back a step. And you'll notice here these edges are not merged because they're uh, round. It has this hard edge coming around. And if I merge vertices, you get that roundness to it, which is great. Now, let's just say I just did, I don't know, these ones. And these are the only ones that merged. What tells you that these didn't merge is that these actually start pointing to the ones that aren't merged yet. I'm just going to tap G on my keyboard for last tool used. And you'll notice these start to smooth out. And I know this one's merged because it's starting to point to the last one. And now you'll notice the entire thing is merged. So that's how you go ahead and double check those things. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to hold right click. And this is actually no different than what we did with the shield, except we did it a lot more times with the shield. So, um, and we did it popping out instead of popping in but it's the same exact concept. Now I'm going to hold right click and go to edge and I'm going to double click this entire edge. And you'll notice when I'm in smooth mode tapping three on my key keyboard, if I hold shift and right click and I go to bevel edge and I'm going to set this to point two and I'm going to set the segments to two, you'll notice I get a nice clean crisp edge around my circle now um, or my sphere uh, cut. And I'm going to do the same thing all the way around this object. I'm going to double click those edges and I'm going to get all of these edges around here. So I have, I'll hold shift and tap I to show you what I've highlighted. I highlighted these edges all the way around, basically every box on every side. So it's just like a little square highlight on every side. And from here, I'm going to hold shift and go to bevel edge one more time. I'm going to change it to point two and at two segments. And then I'm going to close. And now if I tap three, you'll notice I get a much cleaner hard edge around this. And let's just say than before. Now let's just say if I hold right click, go to bevel edge. Oh, and I make it even tighter, point, oh, just one, no, point, let's go point, point one, and I set this to two segments, or maybe even three segments, or four segments, it's going to become a much crisper edge, and if I set this down to, let's say, point zero five, you'll notice it even gets even cleaner. I'm only going to use two segments just for poly count. You'll see that it kind of maintains that shape really well, even if you increase. the. But basically, the, the harder the corner needs to be, the more segments you'll add. But you also have to remember that's going to increase your poly count quite a bit. So I'm just going to stick with two. And I think that's pretty good. And now when I look at this model, when in one mode, I've got this looking pretty clean. It's very nice, clean topology. Now imagine going through this and sort of trying to bevel these edges. You can't even select these by double-clicking this entire edge because 
it's not clean topology so you'd have to go through select every one of these edges right and then at the end hold right click go to bevel edge and it'll do it for sure we'll set it to two segments and at point zero five and you'll see I do get this edge and if I tap three on my keyboard it's still really wonky and the only way to fix this would be to go in here with my multi cut tool and constantly fix the topology and it would be a real uh, much longer process I find it to be much easier to go the other route than the boolean cut but there are times the boolean cut can be useful but just be forewarned that it can create really really wonky topology and and then if it's something that has to have proper topology it can be really really difficult to model with and here I'll add one more edge and before I forget I'll delete this one and I held control delete even though I didn't need to um, it's just a force of habit because holding control delete will actually delete any corresponding vertices connected to that edge that isn't necessary to be there so I'll go ahead and finish this and you can see the time it takes to fix this model and this is really the only way to do it and I'm almost done just to show you how much more time it takes and then I created an extra edge here and I'm going to hold control and do delete. Now let me just show you something. By pressing just delete, if I go into vertex mode, you're going to see all these vertices still down this line. And if I tap three on the keyboard, you'll see they're in there, but it can really mess stuff up. So it's good idea to delete them. So let me go back to my edge where in, before I deleted it. And if I hold control delete, you'll notice it deletes all of the vertices with it. So that's a really also very good trick uh, to know how to do and then I also have to do this I got to delete this edge holding control delete and now I'll tap 3 on my keyboard and you'll see I'm starting to get better results but I still need to finish this model off if I want it to have this hard surface modeling uh, or the boolean cut or not boolean cut excuse me uh, hard surface modeling with the edges that's what it's called this style of modeling and I believe I got them all and now I'll also go again to bevel edge and we'll go point one or point oh five and two segments and now you'll see I've got this one and if I tap three on it I also maintain that same uh, shape now I'm gonna show you this one more time and I'm gonna show you why it's so important so I showed you the time it takes to do something like this I showed you the time it takes to do something like this however if I do this one more time and I create a polysphere and just for sake, eh, that's alright, I'll just eyeball it. Um, just for sake of time, I'm going to go to mesh tool, uh, mesh booleans and difference and I selected my cube then shift selected the sphere and then mesh boolean difference and the reason why this is so important to do is if I even though this one took a shorter period of time this one looks a little bit cleaner because it has a nice sharper spherical shape on there um, the trick to this one is is that um, let's add this one to a layer is that when I tap 3 on this you'll notice I get that really wonky one when I tap 3 on this I don't and this one was shorter to make however with that being said if I hold shift right click and I go to smooth you're gonna notice that it's going to right away create the extra topology that I need in order to maintain that nice 
complete sphere. And if I want, I can smooth it one more time, but I wouldn't go too crazy with this because it increases topology by multiples of four every time you do it, I believe. And give or take, and then if I do it again, you can see this really nice clean shape here of the topology. And you'll notice if I were to smooth this, I don't even know if this is gonna crash or not. You'll notice how weird that becomes. And it's because the topology isn't there. So this is much easier to work with. It was faster to create. And again, you can do it this way if you're gonna clean up the topology, but really I find it to be to take longer than it really is worth most of the time. So that's why I go ahead and I do it this way first um, and sort of skip the Boolean cut. There, But don't get me wrong, there are times where the Boolean cut can be useful and that's why I'm showing you this. Um, anyway, I want... Uh, I really don't have anything else to show you in this video, so... Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, shoot me a message. And um, yeah, thank you for watching.